Hey everyone, my name is Alicia. I am with the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna be walking you all through a very simple beginner's guide to using Canva on all of your sublimation projects. There are lots of different resources that you can use to create your sublimation designs. Um, one of our favorites is Canva. So this is a free resource that they have online. And I'm going to show you all everything that you need to know to start sublimating, using your own designs, pulling in the Maker's Going to Learn files, printing it, and all of the above. So stay tuned and learn just how to do that. There are lots of different softwares that you can use to make your sublimation designs. Canva is top, top of the list for us. Um, combined with the Maker's Going to Learn files, you can really, really make some good quality sublimation designs. If you are curious how to do it, go ahead and keep watching. So once you get onto your computer, let's go to the Canva website. So you're going to go to Canva, it's C-A-N-V-A dot com. And we're gonna be on the home screen. So this is after we've created an account, we've logged in, and you're like, OMG, where do I start? What is the first step? So let's just say, hypothetically, we wanted to make a t-shirt. Let's start by creating our design. So on the top right up here, we're gonna select create a design. It's gonna give you the suggested items right here. So I don't really need any of these items. What I do need is the custom size. So I'll X off of this so you can see me go down here again. It's on the bottom left of this drop down menu. You're going to select custom and then it's going to give you the option to plug in your width and height. Now it's going to come in as pixels. We are not measuring in pixels. Um, if you are an experienced graphic designer, then you're going to know how to measure with pixels, but we are beginners. So we're going to go to inches. And what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet. That's just going to be standard for, um, if you have a small format sublimation printer. So I'm going to go ahead and print this 11 by eight and a half. Now, if you have a wide format printer, you can print, we have an Epson workforce that prints 13 by 19. Um, so I could actually plug that in there. So make this the size of the paper you're going to be printing on. And then you're going to select create new design. Once you've selected create a design, it's going to open up this big blank document. And then you've got all these options over here. So there are lots of things on here. Um, that come with a pro membership, um, but there are lots of things that you can do without having the pro membership. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to take you through a very simple design where you're not going to really need pro access to Canva. You can just use this with the free version. Um, what we're going to do is upload and we are going to, before we select upload files, let's go pick a file off of the Maker's Gonna Learn website that we would like to use for our design. So I've already got the Maker's Gonna Learn website pulled up. It's just makersgonnalearn.com. And you can see here, we have tons of cut files for you to use. So we could use any of these. Let's look at summer. We'll go to summer and we'll scroll until we find a file that we want to put onto a t-shirt. So once you find the file that you like, we're going to select this little cloud icon with the down arrow. We will need to download the font to our computer, unzip it, and then you can see right here we've got the PNG. Whenever we go back to Canva, we can actually click and drag this file in or you can go to upload files and then we're going to select recent and you can see right here our beach gnomes are right in the image. Now, whenever I am downloading images off of the Maker's Gonna Learn website, a lot of times they will come in as an SVG and a PNG. We need the PNG. An SVG is a cut file, so we're not actually going to be cutting this out. We are just going to be printing it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the PNG and I'm going to open it. And whenever it uploads, it's going to pull into this little category over here. So what we're going to need to do 
is select it and it's going to automatically pull onto our canvas. It's a little bit smaller than we like, so we can go ahead and stretch this out to the size that we want. And then what you would do from here is go ahead and name it. So we're going to name this Beach Gnomes. And then I'm going to select Share, come down to Download. It's already selected as a PNG, which is what we want. This is best for print quality. And I'm going to select download. This is going to download this onto my computer at the size that we want. And then you can even open it right from here. You can go file, print, and make sure you've got your right printer selected and your right paper size. And then you can go ahead and print it. Now, that's just for a basic image. If you are printing anything with text, you're going to need to mirror your image. So let's go ahead and do a quick design for a t-shirt with text. We can still use this image. We're just going to shrink it down just a little bit. And I'm going to add words to this. So let's go back to the Makers Gonna Learn website and download a font that we think would match with our little beach gnomes. If you select the fonts category on the Makers Gonna Learn website, we have so many different options for fonts and we constantly are uploading new fonts every month. So lots of different options here. Let's do something cute and whimsical. We'll go to the fancy category and see what we can find there. Let's go with Atmospheric. This is one of my favorite fonts. I'm going to go ahead and download it, click on the zip file to unzip it, and then I'm going to double click it and install the font. And then I'm going to go back to Canva and we are going to select text and you can add a text box. We're going to write chillin with my no means. And so whenever you type this in, it's a very basic font. It's very small. So we can actually drag this to make it bigger. You can even manually put in a number up here to change the font size. And then what we'll need to do is come up to our fonts and see if our font came in. It did not. So whenever you download a font to Canva, it does not automatically upload into Canva. So you've downloaded it onto your computer, but Canva doesn't recognize that. So what you're going to need to do is select the styles icon and we're going to go to edit under the untitled brand kit. We're going to go edit and we're going to just scroll until we see upload a font. Now you may not even have to scroll and it may just be right there at the top, but you can select upload a font. You can see the atmospheric zip file. Um, you can go to recent or you can just type in atmospheric and it's going to pop up the font file. I'm going to go ahead and click that and we're going to go ahead and upload it. Okay. And then this box will pop up. You can go ahead and X that out. And then what we'll do is select our font. We're going to go to the drop down menu and you can type it in and it should be in here now. There it is. We're going to select atmospheric and you can make that font a little bigger if you want. You can kind of play around with it. I'm going to click off of it and then pull it down by clicking back onto it. And you can see these little lines right here are allowing us to line our image up with our text perfectly. And we can even change the color of our text. So if you go to this little A with the rainbow underneath it, you can change to any of these colors. If you want a custom color, you can go to add a new color and you can use this little dropper tool. If you select the dropper tool, you're going to be able to skim over the gnomes and you could select your favorite color. I really like this pink and this orange. So we could use the orange. And then what you would do before saving, if you were happy with this design, if you were like, this is exactly what I want, what you're going to need to do is flip your images. So we need to flip everything on here. Um, it doesn't allow you to flip text in Canva. It does allow you to flip your image. 
So what we're going to do is just save this. I'm going to go to share. This is exactly what we, what we did the first time. I'm going to download it as a PNG, just like that. So once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it in preview. You can go to your finder and type in beach gnomes if it doesn't pop to the bottom of your screen. We're going to select the one with the words. Then what you're going to do is go to tools, flip horizontal, so it looks backwards, but remember we're going to be sublimating this onto a t-shirt, so we're going to print it backwards. When it transfers onto the shirt, it will print onto the shirt the correct way. And then you would just go from here, file, and send it to your printer. Okay, I want to show you all what to do when you're pulling in an image that has text in it already. So, what you're going to do if you wanted to use anything, any of our fonts that already have letters in them, let's use this autism in puzzle pieces, super cute. I'm going to go ahead and download that, unzip the file, and then I'm going to open it up here. And you can see we've got the SVG and the PNG. The PNG is the only one we'll need. And I am going to actually click and drag this into Canva just so you all can get an idea of what that's going to look like if you think that's easier. You can just click and drag this PNG right on to the canvas. So once you've pulled this in, you can size it up to the size of the paper. Just make sure you're not going over the edge. And what we're going to do from here is flip our image. So on the top left right here, you're going to see a flip option. We're just going to flip it horizontally. That makes our image backwards. And then what we're going to do is the same process we did with the other two. This time we want to make sure we're changing our image name before. So I'm just going to change this to Autism Puzzle. And then we will do share, download as a PNG, and then you're just going to download it from here. And then you would do the regular print process. You're just going to open this up, and you can see it's still backwards. We're going to go file, print, and then you're going to print it just like this. Okay, the final thing that I want to show you, this is something that you would have access to if you have Canva Pro and that is removing the background on your images. So let's find an image that has a background and we'll remove it so that we only have the focal point of the image and no background. Okay, let's use this little Christmas tree card. I'm gonna go ahead and download that and pull it into Canva. Okay, so once this is in Canva, you can see that there is a background on it. Now, if you only want the Christmas tree, what you're going to need to do is make sure that your image is selected. Just make sure it has the purple border around it, and we are going to edit image. If you are a pro member, you will have the background remover option. So I'm going to select background remover, and it's going to automatically remove some of the background, and we may have to manually go in and remove a little bit more, but let's see what it takes off on its own and that's perfect. So this way we don't have that beige background, we just have the Christmas tree. And if you really wanted to, you could select this erase option right here. You can move your brush bigger and smaller and you could go in and erase everything around the Christmas tree if you just wanted the tree. So this is a really good option to have um, if you are wanting to break designs apart, like if you found a file that you really love, but you don't necessarily need the background, this is a really, really good alternative for you. So after you've removed your background, you can click here and you can show the original image. So you can see how much that we took away. And then once you're done, you're just going to select this done option. So you could stop here if you just wanted the cute little tree or we can go and add some text in like we learned before. So there's different options here. You can just add a text box um, and we can put Merry Christmas on here. Um, you can also use these font combination options which are really fun. You can just pull these in 
and you're able to actually edit the text on them and then you can resize. So very, very cute option there. You can just select that and shrink it down until it fits. I can manually change that to, well, let's do it a little bit smaller. But you guys get the idea. You're going to be able to totally customize your designs using Canva, which is so great because you can take in files that you like and make them your own. Now, if you were going to use this design, this is an instance where you're going to need to make sure to flip your image. But like I was saying before, you cannot flip your text in Canva unless the image has text in it already. Um, I hope that that makes sense for everybody, but what you would need to do in this instance, if you add a text, you're going to go ahead and change the name of this. So we're just going to change this to Christmas tree and you would just download it like normal as a PNG. And then you're going to open it up and this is where you would go tools, flip horizontal, and then you would print it from here to your printer. If you all are curious at all in regards to pricing um, for the Pro, you can go up here to plans and pricing and it's going to show you everything that's included with a Pro membership. So there are lots of perks to doing this. You can see the cost breakdown here. So lots of different options. Um, but test it out using the free version at first and see if you like it. We sublimate constantly and Canva is just tried and true for us. You just have endless options um, as far as design goes. Um, and it's just super, super easy to follow, especially once you get in there and use it a few times. It's pretty relatively easy to follow for all of your sublimation needs. I hope that you all learned something today and that you are now going to be able to easily navigate Canva on your own if you were curious about sublimation. We use Canva on a regular basis for sublimation and we really, really love the software. It's just super foolproof and makes everything pretty streamlined for us. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so every time that we post new videos, you'll be notified. And if you weren't aware, we offer a sublimation course through makersgonnalearn.com. If you go onto our website, you're going to be able to sign up for a sublimation course. So if sublimation is something you've been really interested in and you're just like, I don't know where to start, you don't even have to own a printer yet to start this course. So we walk you through all the steps on how to actually buy a printer, what programs you need to use, how to design everything. And it actually comes with sublimation files when you sign up. So make sure to check out the Makers Gonna Learn website and we will see you all in the next one. Bye.